hid Naaman. Once all types of fat cells are full, then glucose and triglycerides rise in the bloodstream. Dr. Ted Naaman on his own YouTube channel. First of all, what is type 2 diabetes? Well, when you eat food, you're eating protein and minerals, which your body might use structurally. You're also eating non-protein carbs and fats, which your body uses for energy. And if you eat too much energy, it gets stored in your fat cells. If the amount of energy you're eating is way out of proportion to the amount of protein and minerals you're eating, you have to store a lot of energy in your fat cells. And your fat cells all have a maximum diameter. They can expand to hold more and more fat, but they have a maximum size. Your fat cells can only be so big. And you have subcutaneous fat cells under your skin that expand and store fat. And once they've reached a maximum size, you have to try to sprout new fat cells. Now, some of us can sprout a million fat cells and end up being a thousand pounds, but a lot of us have genetic limitations to how many new fat cells we can build. Once you've expanded your fat cell number as much as you can, and you've expanded the diameter of each fat cell, then you've run out of this subcutaneous fat storage. Now your body has to start trying to store fat viscerally, and that's this abdominal fat, right, that expands your waistline. And make, uh, th we know this is associated with insulin resistance. So after you've maxed out your subcutaneous fat stores, you have to try to store fat viscerally. Well, eventually you run out of fat storage in your visceral fat cells as well. And once you've filled every fat cell you've got, now your body tries to store fat ectopically, which means shoving fat where it doesn't belong. You might shove fat in your liver or shove fat in your pancreas and you end up with fatty organs. And pretty soon you get to the point where you've shoved fat into every cell in your body and there's no more place for fat. And what happens next is your cells start refusing glucose. All of your cells are filled with fat. None of your cells can accept any more fat. And now they all start refusing glucose. They're like, oh, hell no. Uh, we're not taking this glucose. You have, somebody else has to worry about this glucose. So all your cells are refusing glucose. And it's only then, at this very, very end stage, severe insulin resistance, fat overload, energy toxicity, whatever you want to call it, it's only then that your blood sugar actually starts going up in your bloodstream. Uh, blood sugar has no place to go at this point. Also, your triglycerides are super high because that's fat energy that has no place to go either. So here's your type 2 diabetic. They've literally filled their entire body up with dietary energy, carbs and fats mostly, um, and they have run out of places to put anything and now their cells refuse glucose and now any of the energy they eat in their diet has no place to go and it just circulates around in the bloodstream. annotated, and summarized, easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points. What is type 2 diabetes? When we eat food, protein and minerals for body to use structurally. Non-protein carbs and fats are for energy. If we eat too much energy, it gets stored in our fat cells. If the amount of energy eaten is way out of proportion to protein and minerals, we have to store a lot of energy in our fat cells. Fat cells have a maximum diameter. They can expand to hold more fat, but they can only get so big. Then subcutaneous fat cells expand to store fat. When full, we must try to grow new fat cells. Some of us actually can sprout a million fat cells. Others have a genetic limitation on new fat cells. Once the fat cell number is as large as it can get, and the diameter is expanded as large as it can get, we run out of subcutaneous fat storage. Now we must store fat viscerally. So, once subcutaneous and visceral fat stores are full, 
we must store fat ectopically in liver, in pancreas, etc. We end up with fatty organs. And soon we have shoved fat into every cell in the body and there's no more place for fat. Our cells refuse glucose because they're filled with fat and they cannot accept any more. Only then at this end stage, when we have severe insulin resistance, only then does blood sugar start going up in the bloodstream. Blood sugar has no place to go and our triglycerides are super high. This is type two diabetes. The type two diabetic has filled up his or her body with dietary energy, carbs, and fats. The energy in the system has no place to go, so glucose circulates in the bloodstream. 